Okay, so today's session is going to be quite a quick one. Um, and what we're going to be looking at is dyscalculia. Okay, and dyscalculia is another one of them overlapping conditions that we sometimes see alongside autism, um, like the conditions we've discussed in the previous week, such as dyspraxia, dyslexia, ADHD, <clears throat> mental health, etc. So dyscalculia um, affects around four to six percent of the population. And we don't know if there's a gender kind of bias in there. We don't know if, if more girls are affected to boys. There's limited kind of research around that. But it is kind of a lifelong condition that affects the way somebody uses and processes and identifies with um, arithmetic, really, so uh, around maths. So the symptoms or the, the kind of the features of the condition will be different from children that are in preschool to children that are in primary school to adults um you know throughout the lifespan so really today i'm going to focus on them kind of primary school years and look at some of the things that may happen if your child has dyscalculia okay so one of the things is that they struggle to identify with general maths um kind of plus multiplication division and subtraction that can be really difficult for them so when they're presented with a sum it can be really hard and it can it can actually make them quite stressed out and cause quite a little a lot of anxiety so things like that could become problematic for your child they may struggle with the use of maths language so things like greater than and less than you know when you're doing um the sand pit and the water tray and things like that with little toddlers and you kind of say which is the biggest and which is the smallest at that level at that age it might be that they start struggling um you start seeing signs of it in preschool years as well okay it might be that they have real difficulty doing mental arithmetic in the head so mental processes so if i say to you all now two plus two you might quickly be able to work that out in your head and produce a response for some of our people that have got dyscalculia, you might see them using the fingers, so they might be kind of counting on the fingers and taking a lot longer to process the information and come up with an answer. They might also find a difficulty with a connection between the number and the, the kind of the name of the number. So if they see the number one as, as a one and then they see the name one, they might find it really difficult to connect the two that they're actually the same thing and that might cause them a little bit of stress and anxiety as well. <laughs> 